I see you, friend. I hug people for all eternity. Will you marry me? Hello, everybody. My name is Tommy. I'm a mask and puppet maker. And a lot of you have been asking me to make first prize. This is a puppet on wheels. I have never made a puppet on wheels before, so this is pretty cool. And now I'm going to show you how it's done. Welcome to Tommy's Puppet Lab. Enjoy the show. Before we get started with this tutorial, I just want to cover some safety. Knives and scissors are very sharp and pointy, so please get an adult to help you. Always cut away from yourself, never towards yourself. And that includes your fingers. When using hot glue, always wear gloves to protect yourself from burns. Never touch the tip, so please be very careful with this. And I highly recommend adult supervision. All right, let's start. All right, so we're gonna make first prize. So we're gonna start by making the head. So crumble a large newspaper ball. And then this is the head. It should have something that looks like this. We're making the heart, which is in the middle of his uh, body. So we need to crumble newspaper into the shape of a heart. And you should have something that looks like this when you're done. So next thing we need to do is you need to do the paper mache. So now what you need to do is you need to mix one part water and one part white glue. Okay, so you're going to take your newspaper heart and you're going to brush glue onto the surface area with your with a paintbrush. And you're going to put a layer of tissue paper or toilet paper. I use toilet paper because it works really good and it's cheap. And you're going to cover the surface area. And now you're going to brush glue on top of the heart. And then you're going to take even more tissue and put more on top of it like this and then you're going to repeat the process brush glue on top we're going to put more brush glue on top we're going to keep doing this until we have this covered in three or four layers okay okay so the next thing that you will need, you will need to get some, you will need to get some styrofoam. They all need to be in the shape of a ball like this. One medium size for the hand. And you'll need five small ones for the fingers. So you'll need to take a knife, just be careful when you are cutting out this far. Please get an adult to do this for you. We're going to cut this right in half. There you go. That is going to be a hand. Now we need to cut this, all these into halves and these will be the fingers. Okay, so we're going to need our gloves and we will need a low heat glue gun because we're gluing styrofoam. So, yeah, we're gluing styrofoam onto styrofoam, so you got to use a low heat glue gun. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to glue this. We're just going to put it right on top. Like that. I'm going to put three more on. And you should have something that looks like this. And we're going to need to put one just a little bit be more below for the thumb. And that's one hand. 
We're going to do the same thing to the other hand, except we're going to put the thumb on the other side. And there you go. These are first prizes hands. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cover this in paper mache. I'm also going to cover up the newspaper ball that we made earlier because this is the head. We can't forget about the head, right? Okay, so now we're going to take the head and we're going to glue the eyes on. So I cut another small styrofoam ball in half. And we're just going to glue them in the center. When you're using hot glue, just put a little bit of hot glue on first. Let it cool down for a few seconds here. So that's good. You don't let it cool down, the styrofoam will just melt. And those are his eyes right there. So I'm just going to cover that in paper mache. So the next thing we're going to need is we need to put the heart inside something. So you will actually need some wooden dowels. I, you can get a whole pack of them, a pack of eight for about $2 at a dollar store. I got these at the dollar store. You can find these at crafting stores or even in a woodworking department. So that's what we need to do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it down so that the heart just fits inside. And I've already done that. And here they are. So you are actually going to need about 18 pieces. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to paint everything including the heart, the hands, and the face. And then we can start putting everything together. So I'm going to do something I've never done before. So I'm going to make a puppet on wheels. And I have wooden spools. So anyway, I'm just going to use some wooden spools. So yeah, I just bought some wooden spools. They cost me $1.50 for a pack of four. You could probably go into a sewing kit with an empty spool, you can use those, those empty spools. They'll work just fine. Or you can just roll a cardboard tube and make yourself some uh, wheels. And then I will show you what to do next. So I'm going to start painting everything at this point. And I also still need to give him a, a mouth. I'm going to make it, I'm gonna, actually going to make him into a puppet that actually talks. So he can ask you to marry him. <laughs> okay, now it is time to start painting. So the colors we will need for first prize. We're going to paint the framework a light blue color. And I'm going to mix just a little bit of brown. Here it is. And a lot of white for the hands and the face, and we will also need a bright red color for the heart. And that should be everything. Oh yeah, one more thing, we're going to need some black for the eyes. We'll need to paint the eyes black. There. We're going to paint the eyes black. And the wheels, of course. Alright, so those are the colors we will need, so let's get started. Alright, so now it is time to start building the framework here. So, 
I've got the painted dowel, and you are actually going to need a hot glue gun. Okay, so I'm wearing my gloves because I don't want to get burned. So we're going to start by building the bottom of the frame. So you just need to stack all the pieces into the shape of a cube. Well, I guess it's not a cube yet, but you'll need to place them into the shape of a square like this. And I'm going to hot glue them into place. So just glue the end. You don't need very much because I'm going to cover the ends with paper mache so that it is actually sturdy and durable. So you should have something that looks like this. I'm going to build myself another one. So you should have yourself, now we need to make ourselves a cube. So now what you need to do is you need to attach, I'm going to raise the camera a bit. So now you need to stack another piece on each edge like this. You need to attach one of these on all four corners, have them pointing vertically pointing upwards. So this is what you should have and then when you glue this on top, yeah, looks good. Might have to move these around a little bit but that's why we're doing it with hot glue first because hot glue is a little bit flexible in case you need to straighten something out. So now I'm going to glue this on top just on each just on each pillar here. Just hold it there for a little while until it's completely dry. Don't push down too hard because this is pretty fragile right now. So now we need to glue some pieces on like this. So I marked the line right where it connects to this corner here to the top corner. You're going to need four of these, so they're going to be a bit longer than the framework here. This is actually holding pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and trim these. Okay, so now we're going to add the support beams here. So we're going to attach it from the top left to the bottom right on all four sides. What we need to do is we, we need to make sure that this is nice and sturdy. So I'm going to actually cover all the corners that we just just glued with paper mache. And I'm going to paint it over with the light blue color. Alright, so here it is, all the glue is dry. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the support beams for the head. So, what we can glue the head on, I still need to give them a mouth, but that will come later. So, we're going to glue, we're going to take four short dowels. They need to be short, but long enough to hold the head up. And we're just going to glue them. Each corner is going to be held diagonally like this. So I'm going to do the same thing to all four corners. Okay, so while I'm waiting for this to cool down, we're going to need to put some, uh, some dowels inside the heart. So we're going to be stabbing a heart. <laughs> so take a pair of scissors. Be very careful when you're stabbing hearts. Sorry, I can't help myself. Anyway, just take some scissors and we're going to make a hole in the side of the heart. I'll need to make sure that the dowels can fit inside. So yeah, make a hole on both sides. We're going to slide the dowels inside. Like that. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. 
and there you go. So this should be dry by now. I'm gonna take all the additional support down. You should have something that looks like this. So yes, you'll notice that the these are raised a little bit and that will keep the head held up. Yeah, there we go. That's starting to look like first prize. Now we're gonna put the heart in the inside. And we're going to glue this dowel. We're gonna glue this dowel to here. Try to keep it as center as you can. You might need to push it in a little further if it's too long. So I'm just gonna glue it. I'm going to cover it in paper mache just so that it actually stays on. So this is what you should have so far. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely starting to look like first prize. All right. Now we need to get the wheels on. So you're going to need some skinnier dowels, some skinny ones, just so that you can get the dowels to fit through the spools, whatever you're using. Again, very cheap, $1.25 for a pack of 20. That's way more than I need. I'm going to grab two of them, I'm just going to make sure they actually fit through the spools. Yep. Should, should roll like that. You're gonna need two of them and you're gonna glue them right at the bottom. I'm gonna show you what it looks like after I glue it because it's gonna be a little tricky to show you what I'm doing right now because I wanna keep the weight on as I glue. Okay, so now I'm just going to let that dry. That's what the bottom should look like. So you're going to glue one across from the top here and another one across from the bottom, horizontally. And then we should be able to get the wheels right on. Just like that. Oh yeah, this will be cool. Oh yeah, this is going to be so cool to have a puppet on wheels. This is the first puppet I've ever made on wheels. Of course, you're gonna have to make sure that they actually don't slide off. So don't worry, I have a solution for that. Be patient, Padawans. All right, so we're gonna just take that those up for now. And then we're gonna wrap something around the spool to make it look like a conveyor. So that's how his wheels are. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is I am actually going to go ahead and put paper mache around the areas I just glued so that it stays on. And then we're going to worry about giving this guy a mouth, one that will actually move so he can ask you to marry him. Oh, this is upside down. Haha. <laughs> okay. So I will do the paper mache right now. Going to take the head and so I'm going to cut this out. So I'm going to cut this out right here. So at the back of the head, we're going to just make a hole. We're just going to make an opening. So make sure your hands are out of the way. This is where we're going to put the lever. Okay, so I just took out all the newspaper and it still keeps its shape here. We're going to keep this part and I cut the back open here. So when you push down on the lever, that will make first prize talk. 
like that. So I just painted these black. Now I'm gonna put the spools on. I'm gonna snip off all the excess because now this is just a little bit too long so it's not gonna look that good. So I'm just gonna snip off the ends but you're just gonna leave just a little bit of room at the front. I should be wearing safety glasses. When you're doing that, wear safety glasses. So now what I need to do is I need to cut out four tiny circles on a piece of cardboard. So here are the circles. I cut out some cardboard circles and I poked a hole in the middle of each one. Now, we're just gonna add it to the ends here. Just like that, and that way the spools will not come out. I'm gonna do the same thing to all four of them. Now we're just gonna glue them on so that they don't come out. If you can take some construction paper here, I don't have any gray but I will use white. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out two strips and we're gonna wrap it around these spools. You're gonna wrap it around the spool just lightly. You don't wanna make the wheels too tight otherwise they will not function. And I'm actually going to, you can use tape. I recommend using tape, but I'm going to use hot glue because I don't, I don't want the tape to be visible. Let's take a closer look at it. Take a look right here, right where I glued. How about that? Well, that just makes them much more realistic. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. All I need to do now is just to get this thing as a functional puppet. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this. You're going to need a paint mixing stick. These things are completely free at any paint store. So we're going to take the mouth, turn it around, and we're going to glue this paint mixing stick just at the top here. Leave a little room though. So now I have the jaw installed, so just to secure it so it doesn't slide out, I want to glue a strip of cardboard just at the back of the lever here, and that will keep it into place. All right, that's all there is to it. And you might want to paint the inside here red. Now we need to glue the hands on. Just make sure the thumbs are facing towards each other. And I'm going to glue them on like this. And just glue the head on. Now for the wires, we're go I'm going to be using pipe cleaner. So we'll need a red, a blue, and a yellow. And there he is, he's all finished. How about that, a puppet on wheels. That is so cool. And there you go. You now know how to make first prize. And don't forget, I've made other characters from Baldi's basics in education and learning, such as Baldi, his cosplay. I've also made Playtime that actually skips, and a cosplay of the principal and the thing. Be sure to check those out. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much.
so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Take one hand and put these two fingers together. Put your pinky on top and grab your pinky with your index finger. And you just made yourself a puppet friend.